I've been here. You know, I was, I was trying to think of that after the game. Uh, not that I, not that I can recall. I know, I know, uh, K. Rod's going to check it, but uh, this team's got some fight, and I think, I think the ability to come back and, and that harmless uh, second half of that Tennessee game when we, when we fought back on Friday night to open it to, to, that kind of showed the team that we have some legitimacy. And uh, what, what Illinois State's dealing with, they're dealing with some young guys in the bullpen. They're going to some freshmen in the middle. Their starters aren't, hadn't built pitch count much yet. He's trying to get some young guys ready for when they get in the conference. But they're going to be a very good team. Those starters can, can build pitch count, go a little deeper in the game to get to those two righties. So uh, it's a good, that's a good team. That's a very good team. You're down 11 nothing in the third. I'm preaching, hey, there's plenty of innings, but of course I want to keep an audience. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right? And I'm thinking, okay, chip away, chip away. And you get a couple of runs, but that's seven run innings. So I would I would imagine somewhere in that inning, you guys realize we can make this comeback. Well, you know, we get we get that thing to the to the two run. We, when we got to the three run deficit, that put John Bowman back in the mix. And we, we're not, now we're not saving him for the moment. That was huge. But the job the bullpen can't did, James Mews and, and to hang all those zeros to allow that to happen. You know, some teams that, that aren't built offensive minded, that that doesn't do much for. You. For this kind of team, for a bullpen to do that is huge. And, you know, that little three spot we put up when it was 11 to nothing, it looks like a ass just three. But how big is that as the game mounts and later on? You know, we're still playing with Monic without Elliott. Our, our infield defense was shaky early. Uh, we handed them some things and sure. they sped some balls up. Uh, but then once we got to our strikeout type guy, we, you know, you saw us, we had to like, make less plays, and that's the value of the strikeout of the bullpen. Guys are being very patient at the plate. You're walking a lot. You're walking with the bases loaded. I mean, maybe unprecedented early on in the season. Are you guys preaching patience? We do. We, we talk about that's part of our BP routine every day is 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 working on strike zone discipline. Why are you working on your stroke? So let, you know, Coach Green's done a great job of of preaching to each individual hitter what their hot zones are, and if they don't get things in those hot zones, and advantage counts. We lay off a lot. So it looks like sometimes we're passive. But we're playing, trying to flip counts and play counts into our favor. And, and you know, with Zach's not swinging the bat like Zach Willis right at all, but uh, uh, but him and Colton are very difficult to pitch to in that one-two spot. And you saw them draw some huge walks in these last two games. And you're getting a great boost from Jason Santana, who we just had on. He's playing great. And, uh, you know, it's going to matter on Jason, the amount of volume he's going to have to catch. But I've done it before with guys. We've got Sam Mazzica ready to help in some areas. And, and uh, but Jason knows he worked on his body real hard. He's going to have to, you know, catch the bulk of our games early on. And, uh, and and he's doing a great job giving us a spark offensively, and that's huge. We saw Hapcock come in relief yesterday and pitch much better, much better than he did in the opener. Tomorrow you got Connor Alexander. I guarantee he was chomping at the bit all week long to get back on the mound. What do you expect from him? Yeah, that, that, a guy that's been in the rotation that comes back after an outing like that, he has worked very diligently to get. So I'm anxious to see him tomorrow. We'll have Colton for late help and nothing early. Uh, it'll be, you know, if we have to go into some things and, and damage control, there'll be some, some new faces in there to, you know, Sunday game of the series. But think the guys in those roles have to step up for sweeps to happen. Enjoy this one. Yeah, that this well is well earned. Sorry, it took a while. I know you guys are hungry, but uh, I, I wish I got paid by the pitch. It was yeah. only four hours and what, almost four and a half hours this game. No, but, uh, it, it was fun to call. It was fun. Uh, it was a fun game to coach in, and, and just the, the, you know, our guys are never getting down. That's right. what's huge, and I think they, they know that that we have that ability. I told them after the game, I, I'm ready to play from in front sometime. You know, but but <laughs> anytime they want to jump out to a lead, that's fine. But but Illinois State's a very good club, and it'll be a battle tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Greg. Aaron Schoenrock, head coach of the Memphis Tigers.